Hello, I'm Miriam, and this is More Than Organized Monday. Welcome. This week, we're going to be talking about how to prepare your week. I've been doing this for years. I actually don't hate Mondays anymore because I actually use Mondays to prep for my entire week. So it's kind of an ease into the day. It is a bit of chores. It's a bit of planning and strategic thinking, whether it's about work or, or things I need to do for my home and my life and my friends and my family. I use Mondays to kind of block that all into my week. It's when I do my calendar. Now, a lot of people like to do their calendar ahead of time, like on Sundays or Fridays before the work week. I do take a glance at it on Friday, but I don't actually write it into my calendar until Monday morning first thing. And that's because I like to have the weekend to kind of see how I'm going to feel on Monday um, and what else might come up over the weekend that I need to squeeze in. And so for me, I do glance ahead, but I don't plan the final plan until Monday morning. So there's several thing areas that need planning that not everyone takes some time to think about. You might look at when your actual scheduled appointments are, but what happens when you have something that just pops up, like a special event? Like I didn't know until middle of last week that one of my good friends is having their birthday tomorrow and I'm going to go to their little gathering. Um, I didn't know that till kind of last minute. Um, so I couldn't have pre-planned for that last week. I had to do it this week. So take a look at, at what special things are coming up. Maybe you've got a doctor's appointment or a family member in town or something else that needs a little bit of attention kind of on the fly, but you have a little bit of time to look at it. So make sure you double check your special things for the week, things that are coming up that aren't normal or usual. And then you also want to look at the actual routine things, those habitual things that have to happen every week or monthly on that, that particular week of the month. So things I like to just take a glance at while I do my planning is my money. What money do I need to have in which accounts to be able to cover the bills that are coming due for auto payments or um, if I need to cover something special like an extra birthday gift or something to make sure there's enough money in the accounts, you know, so I just check the money overview. How's the cash flow in this week? Is it all in the right places? Um, I look at what people I need to um, get ready for during the week. Sometimes it's family, sometimes it's my team members, sometimes it's a special project or a meeting with someone that I haven't met before for an opportunity and it requires a little more thinking about what, what do I need to pull together for that person or that meeting to go well and for them to do what they need to do um, without as much input from me? What can I hand off to them? Maybe it's for a chore or maybe it's for a, a task, but what is it they need from me to be able to do their work? Um, similar is purchases. What groceries, incidentals, um, toiletries, office supplies, um, travel planning, what, what kinds of purchases need to be made this week so that you can do your work and live your life, right? What, what does that look like this week? And when are you going to do those errands or um, make the orders online so they can be delivered? When are you going to do that? Factor that into your weekly plan. These are those little pieces of uh, time that get away from us because we don't think about them until they have to happen. And then it's like, why didn't I schedule time for that? Um, the one that's most overlooked though, is probably energy. The other reason I like to do it on Monday morning is I have a much better handle on what my energy level will be like for the week. I know it seems like it might change day to day and occasionally it does, but pretty much if I have a bad Monday, I'm going to have kind of not a great week. And I'm not saying that because you can't recover, but typically it's because I'm depleted. I will notice it on Monday and it usually takes me a few days to recover from a depletion. So notice where your energy comes up. Um, sometimes it's weather related. If it's really rainy, I'd rather stay in bed and read all day. So I have to kind of glance at the weather report as well and see what am I doing? Where am I working? What kind of work am I going to be working on on which days? And am I going to manage my overall energy for the week in the face of what I 
what energy I start the week with. If you recover, you get all this bonus time at the end of the week. And if not, you have a backup plan for those times you aren't feeling great. All right. I hope these help schedule your um, week and help make things go a little bit smoother and easier for you. But just remember, look at the money, look at the people, look at the purchases, look at the energy levels. And of course, don't forget any special things that come up because they involve other people and last minute plans and things. So I'll see you next week. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, turn on your notifications and tell all your friends because it's always more fun to do these things together. In the meantime, have a delightful day.